Hello, and welcome to a statue review for the Bicute Bunnies figure, Supersonical, newly drawn costume. A, a slightly vague uh, description of this statue. I'd have kind of gone with bunny suit or something, but hey, that is, uh, that's their prerogative. So today, we've got a very tall statue. This is, I don't know if the statue itself is going to be this tall. I'm guessing so. I want to say this is 1.7 or 1.6. I can't remember the scale. I don't know how many of those I actually own. I don't think I own any, maybe. Or do I? I don't know. Anyway, today we are going to take a look at this fairly new Supersonical statue. I say fairly new, it came out about a month ago. This is by Bicute. Uh, so, we'll take a look at the box and then we'll take a look inside. There she is. There is uh, a view from the back. There is a sort of more neutral view, I guess, less close up. Um, we do get to see as well, she's got a clear base, which is pretty cool. I do like clear bases on statues. And on the side uh, is the illustration that this statue is based off. Now, the artist is there. Uh, I, I can't really read it. It looks like Ettoro Furas for us, but uh, I could be reading that wrong. Uh, I need to brush up on my Japanese. And on the top, it is the Bikeup Bunnies logo, and on the bottom, I think, is legal stuff. So, right, I am going to go free her from her cardboard prison, and then we'll take a look inside. All right, for those interested, uh, she actually did come in one piece with the base, uh, and two of her bunny ears that kind of came uh, removed. So I'm going to go attach that and attach her to the base, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back and I've assembled her. So that was pretty straightforward. Uh, just they slot in really easily, the ears, and uh, the pegs at the bottom are very obvious because her front uh, foot there has two pegs to go in the holes and her back one has one, so there's, there's no confusion. So we're going to take a look at her. Um, it's uh, it's going to be difficult because she's a little bit top-heavy which is shocking, I know. Uh, so I'm gonna have to like angle it uh, carefully. So we've got the Buy Cute Bunnies logo on her uh, base. One thing I will say, I'm a little bit confused because this does show a clear base. Now, I appreciate it's for production images maybe, but why, why specifically show a base like this and then not have a clear base? Unless like, there's a sort of like deluxe version or something that does come with a clear base. Um, for the record as well, this was reasonably cheap. I think I picked this up for 20 something pounds, maybe 30. So, I mean, that you know, you're looking at 30 something dollars, maybe 40. Um, I'm thoroughly impressed already. I've, I've not really taken much of a look at her, but I've got to say already very impressed. So we've looked at the base. We'll start, she does have very glossy high heels. Uh, hang on, she's not fully on the base, actually. There you go, that's much better. Uh, still mildly off, but you know, it's as best as I'll get. So we've got very uh, glossy heels. I'm, I'm not massively into heels, I've never much seen the appeal, but hey, you know, to each their own. Uh, one thing I am blown away by, uh, and I think a friend of the channel, uh, Tom, has bought bike boots before and mentioned that they have this. But her stockings are actually cloth. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, but I can move it. This is actual cloth. Um, so underneath are obviously modelled bare legs, but these are actually movable. Obviously up top uh, it is stretched a lot more, for obvious reasons. Uh, so obviously that, that is not movable, but it is weird. The only downside is when pushing her onto the base, I was kind of in unintentionally pulling down on the uh, stockings as well and I was a little bit concerned they'd rip. Not that ripped stockings would look horrible on a supersonical statue but uh, you know I, I don't really want to unnecessarily rip or anything. So moving on up we have the sort of bottom of her bunny suit along with the coat tails. Um, so this is kind of the the paint apps here as well are treated differently than her shoes so obviously there is a difference in the shininess and stuff this is a lot more matte more dull because obviously it looks like cloth uh very impressed she's got the cute bunny tail as well uh, a lot of these 
aspects I will be taking a photo of in my upcoming montage, so you know, don't be too concerned if I'm like going too quickly over some details. We've got her hand resting on her uh, hip there. Obviously, hands uh, in statues these days are just amazing. I genuinely am still impressed every time I see them. Uh, we've got the like buttoned cuff of her bunny suit. Uh, it's got a button on the front, not at the back, which makes sense. We've got a sort of silver armband as well. I, does she have that on both? Yeah, she does. Okay. It's a kind of keep it in place, uh, I guess. Um, usually I try to make jokes in my statue reviews about something about focusing on the boobs and then I'll, I'll cut away. If I don't focus on the boobs here, I'm not going to have much more to talk about. Um, there is, there's a lot going on. There's an ample amount of side boob, but not only that, we've also got the kind of uh, a cleavage window as well. Um, they, they've gone all out, honestly, apart from some under boob, I think she's sort of like got two of the three perfect trifectas there. Genuinely pretty impressed. Uh, so she's holding up her right hand there in a shushing motion, um, because obviously she's working in a very fancy restaurant. Uh, do, uh, do, they, do they have bunny girls in restaurants? Do they have bunny girls in restaurants? That'd be great. Um, let me know in the comments where the nearest one to me is. Uh, so the next one, uh, next thing as well, the, she's got the bow tie there, uh, because obviously she's wearing very formal attire. Um, and then around the back to her sweeping hair. Always, uh, always a fan of this. Also, there's a bit of a gradient to it. It's not like super, super, you know, detailed but then this is a fairly fairly cheap prize figure so i mean it's it's exactly what you'd expect um another thing i'm really impressed with actually is the headphones so again this isn't like super super detailed but i think i think it's pretty much there the reflectiveness of the metal well obviously it's not metal it's plastic and painted but and that and the like the caps on both sides are genuinely very impressive um They've gone into more detail than I really expected. This is my second Super Sonico statue. Now I do have the Rider suit one, uh, if you want to check that out. Maybe you've already seen it. And of course we've got the... Uh, I don't know what the name of this, like, m the cage, the metal cage or whatever, uh, at the top there. And of course we've got her bunny ears, which are more reflective. So they're more like her um, high heels, as you can see. They're made from... Same plastic and same painting, I'm guessing. Not much detailing going on here, but then they're just bunny ears. Honestly, as well, when I opened this up, I realised that on the artwork, I never really picked up she had bunny ears, even though she was wearing a bunny suit. Because the background is quite dark and stuff, it just never stood out to me. So I just, I got a little bit concerned when I opened up the package and one of these fell out. I thought, oh god, it's broken already, this is going to be a horrible review. But no, they are detachable for obvious reasons, because they will snap in transit. Uh, unfortunately, my light isn't showing her off great. Her hair is a little bit lighter than on the um, than on the artwork here. That's a lot deeper pink, this is a lot lighter pink. But I do quite like the light pink of Supersonico. I think, if anything, actually, this is a bit too saturated, or a bit too dark. Um, but you know, to each their own. I mean, in the honestly, the artwork um, that it's based on, the hair is a lot more similar, I think. So, technically speaking, it's more accurate. Anyway, I'm going to go off and take some photos now of Supersonico, and I'll be back after the montage to give my final thoughts. Alright, I am back. So, taking some photos. Uh, that was very fun. Uh, there are lots of very interesting angles, especially uh, from the last picture in the montage there. I, I, I'm, I'm impressed with this statue. Um, 
So this actually does mark the first bunny suit uh, statue that I own. I know they're very popular and usually incredibly expensive, so I've never really bothered even considering getting one. But I mean, A, this is supersonical, so already a reason to buy, but B, uh, you know, it's very affordable. So I presume this is still in stock, uh, you know, in places. I know there's been a weird thing with a lot of older supersonical statues, including the one I have weirdly rising in price quite a bit because I guess they're just the you know they're out of production now but so yeah I mean if you are thinking of getting this maybe buy it soon but I don't know may maybe they'll have stock for years I'm not sure but regardless I am thoroughly impressed with this statue there are two very large reasons uh one of those being obviously that it's a bunny a bunny suit so you know that's a different type of dress and the other of course being the impossible to ignore uh, bunny ears, which I don't have any characters with bunny ears either, so that's really cute. Um, yeah, overall I am very impressed with this. I mean, I really like the rider suit statue, I still am very much a fan of that, but I think this um, amps it up a little bit. I think it puts into perspective all of Sonical's charms. Um, so yeah, honestly, if you're a if you're a um, person of taste, also you know, I recommend getting this. I think for the price point, it's really good. Paint apps could obviously be better, but you know, at a higher price point, I think for the thirty dollars or thirty five dollars or the thirty pounds or whatever you'll pay for this, I think this is a fantastic deal. Really, really genuinely impressed with the um, the fabric fishnet. I don't know if, I guess that is technically cheaper than if they'd just like applied uh, plastic onto it because obviously that would be very time consuming, but I don't know, I, I just like the little touch. Uh, yeah, and I think overall she is great. I think the only downside that I've noticed is that the best way to like rotate her face is there where she's looking away slightly because for some reason the hair kind of overhangs her face that way and it you know, cast a bit of a shadow, but that's just a personal preference. Um, yeah, that about wraps it up. Let me know in the comments if you guys own this or what other Supersonical statues. Uh, I know there are a ton out there. I'm not going to try and build a shrine, but I mean, I may end up buying one or two more Sonical statues because I do like her aesthetic and the other aspects of her uh, because she wears a diverse, you know, amount of clothes. Yeah, uh, right, I'll leave you with the playlist of my other statue reviews. Not many of them are as cultured as this one, but, you know, hey, you, you never know. Maybe you'll find something you like or you won't. Uh, and I'll leave you to decide what else to give you. And there you go. Thank you guys very much for watching. And until next time, goodbye.